Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is gonna be how I do my keratin treatment. Um, I decided to have a keratin treatment done about three months before I got married. Um, I got married literally the December just gone in 2018. And I am denied as to whether to have it done in a salon. After kind of searching different salons, I was getting quotes around about the 150 mark, so 150 pound for the treatment, which lasts around about three to four months, as long as obviously you use a sulfate, salt, a sulfate free shampoo. So I, I was also getting quotes, I was quoted as well as high as 250 pounds. And um, so I decided to have a look at doing it myself, had a look at a lot of YouTube videos and figured that I could do this myself. I have to say that I am actually trained in hair and um, but I don't class myself as a hairdresser, I'm a barber, so I went straight into men's hairdressing. Um, but I think with the fact that I've done kind of women's hair and I've trained in it, I do find I am um, prone to kind of giving things a try myself and not necessarily always go into a hair salon. Um, so yeah, so I decided that I would give this a go and I absolutely loved the results and I couldn't believe how easy it was to do it on your own at home and save yourself, you know, a, a massive amount of money. I picked up the treatment that I'm using today on Amazon um, and yeah, I think it was 20 two pounds and um, obviously if that's wrong then I will just insert it here and um, yeah but I think it was about 22 pounds from Amazon and I basically I tried a different keratin the time before that and I was absolutely loved that but unfortunately after two weeks it came up my hair so drastically so I thought that I would give a different one a go and um, so today I'm going to be using the Coco Choco Professional Gold series of keratin so if I just get a chance to focus in and um, so yes it's a premium keratin treatment and um, so yeah and with the kit you literally get the keratin treatment and you also get the clarifying shampoo so the first step is you have to wash your hair twice so shampoo twice with the clarifying shampoo. A clarifying shampoo basically just gets rid of any kind of dirt, any kind of residue that's in the hair. It basically makes it completely squeaky clean because that's how your hair should be for this treatment. So yeah, so I've gone in, I've literally just done two shampoos of my clarifying um, shampoo and now I'm just going to blow dry my hair, medium heat, and get it completely dry and then we'll proceed with the treatment. I'm trying to kind of pop, <laughs> pop this somewhere, but I am gonna need a mirror to do it. So a lot of these, um, a lot of these um, stages are gonna be speeded up, but I will obviously be talking about your next step and what you need to be doing. Um, but yeah, so we're just ready to go. I'm gonna go in and blow dry my hair with my Revlon Volumizer, which I got for Christmas. I have actually done a review and a tutorial on this product, which is actually my very first video on my channel. So if you have a look and you are interested in this product, then yeah, I can't rate you highly enough. It's absolutely brilliant. I can't blow dry my hair um, as much as you know I should be able to with the fact that I trained in hair, my hair's hard. This is brilliant, it basically does all the hard work for me. So yeah, so you have got to have two clips. You will get a brush that will come with the, does it come with this treatment? No, I think I got this with the first treatment, um, but you need some sort of root style brush to comb it through. And you also need a comb to comb the sections. Again, don't panic, I'll show you how to do it. Right, so just gonna section off my hair now and just basically just dry it. So yeah, this is most probably gonna be speeded up. It may even just be the first section and then you will just see my hair dry um, because everyone knows how to dry their own hair. And I'm sorry if you can hear my ding dong, that is my sister-in-law coming to see my little boy who's with his dad at the moment. 
Okay, so there you go, guys. I've just dried my hair now with my Revlon hair dryer. Um, so just make sure that it is really, really dry. Um, not damp, not nothing. If you think it's slightly um, wet, then yeah, go in again and make sure that you... Um, yeah make sure that it is completely dry for the treatment to work right the next step is you are going to need your gloves you're going to need your keratin treatment you're going to need oh, <laughs> you're going to need your brush and you're going to need your comb and you're going to need clips i tend to just use one clip some people might use two so always just make sure that they're about um, but yeah, so now you are going to need to open your windows and open your doors. I'm in my conservatory, so I'm going to open the big double doors, hence the reason as to why I've got the big um, hoodie jumper on, um, mainly because it's going to get really cold. But yeah, this lets off a lot of fumes. You might get a little bit of stingy eyes. Mine, I don't tend to be that bad. It tends to be more... Um, when I'm putting the actual treatment on, but they kind of say it's normally really bad when you're straightening the pieces of hair. Um, but yeah, I don't tend to find it's that bad, but maybe that's just me. So I'm just about to now I go and open those doors, um, and then I will show you how to do um, the first section. In fact, I'll most probably just record the whole thing and then just speed it up for you as well, um, just so you guys can kind of see what I do. Right, so... Pop your gloves on. That was the gloves that went me. <laughs> Give it a really good shake. And before you open it up, just section off your first section. Now this is really, really important. You must do very small sections, literally teeny tiny sections, not massive um, sections at all. I'm gonna turn around now and show you how small of a section I have got. So there's the hair that you can see. And then literally it needs to be tiny sections because you're the, if you have too big of a section basically your hair isn't going to get covered and your hair needs to be completely soaked through with this keratin treatment we are going to be doing it literally from about here downwards we do not put it on the root so don't put the keratin treatment on your root and um, so yeah so opening it up basically that is what it looks like it's gold and it's the gold series i suppose you're literally just going to go in with your brush, grab your section of hair and literally you're going to paint it as if you do colour, not that necessarily everyone does colour but maybe you've seen it on YouTube or maybe you go to the hairdressers and have your colour done and you literally just put it through like that. Make sure it's all covered. Then the next step is you then grab your comb and you comb it through. This basically takes off any excess. So it just means that you haven't got massive clumps of keratin in the hair. And um, so yeah, it just basically makes sure that there's no excess, but every hair strand is covered as well. And you pretty much just keep repeating that process. Again, not going near the rope, so just be careful. But yeah, just like I say, use use your pans to kind of make sure that it's completely covered. And then again, the comb's gonna really help you. Like so. It is quite smelly. It's a really weird smell. Um, like I say, this is the second treatment I'm using. I used a different one the very first time. Um, and yeah, it is a really distinctive smell. I don't particularly like the smell, but it's not a bad smell. Some people like it, some people don't, I don't. Um, but it does wonders to my hair, so I don't really mind. <laughs> so yeah, like I say, just combing that section through. 
you know it's it's better to have too much on the brush than I'd say too little okay and take your comb and comb it through and there'll be excess that comes off on the comb I'll just pop that back in the pot right so that is the first section done so you're pretty much going to take very very small sections and you're going to repeat this process I'm now not going to talk because this is going to be kind of fast forwarded um, so yeah Okay guys, um, so it is fully on my hair now. Now I have to sit and wait for 10 minutes to let it penetrate the hair and soak into the hair. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll start blow drying the hair in very small sections, pretty much how we've um, sectioned it off and painted the treatment on. You are then gonna section it like that and then you are gonna make sure that it's completely dry, obviously in sections, and then we'll go on to the next step. Um, but like I say, it seems like it's a lot of work, but hey, you know, you're going to be saving yourself like £125 minimum. Some places charge £250 for this treatment, um, so it is so worth doing. But yeah, I will be back in 10 minutes when I start the drying process. Okay guys, so I have waited for 10 minutes um, and just basically potted around and cleaned up and did mum things for 10 minutes and um, so yeah so now I'm going to basically section it um, really thin sections and we're going to blow dry the hair this possibly might be when it kicks out quite a few fumes I always tend to find as I'm getting higher up because obviously there's more product on my hair when putting on the product and um, my eyes start to just get a little bit stingy and a little bit watery but I don't have streaming eyes or anything like that but I suppose it depends on how sensitive your eyes are um, so yeah so I'm going to section it off So like I say, really small sections, you need to make sure that this is, um, you know, getting completely dry and it needs to be very, very small sections because it just helps the treatment basically seal in. Okay, so that is my first section. Again, this part is going to be speeded up. And I Oh my god guys, I wish, I literally wish you could reach your hands through the camera and feel my hair, which sounds a little bit dodgy, but honestly it feels so beautiful, I'm really impressed with this, pro um, this keratin treatment. Um, so right, so guys, now we're going to go in with the straighteners. 
This is, apart from obviously putting the treatment on and making sure you do small sections, this is such an important part of the keratin treatment. This is basically what seals your treatment in. So if you rush it or if you don't do what it says on the box, then you know it won't it won't work. Um so yeah, so again, very, very small sections. And what you have to do is when you are straightening each piece of hair, you have to make sure that you go and you glide down with the straighteners five times or more. So you really are going in with the straighteners on your hair. Don't worry because it's keratin that you just put in your hair. So it's not like you're going to fry your hair or fry it off or anything. This is basically what is sealing in the treatment. And um, on the box, it does say that you are supposed to put and um, supposed to do it five times. I always tend to do it around about seven to eight times just to be on the safe side. And just because my hair is so coarse, so curly and um, you know and it just yeah it just makes me feel better i just feel like yeah it's definitely 100 percent gonna be sealed into the hair and um, so right right guys so we're going to be going in now with the straighteners and um, these straighteners are brand new i literally just picked them up i will do a review on them um yeah and um we'll see how they go but yeah as you can tell i've already straightened part we've had camera issues and um, so yes yeah, so i'll just show you how i'm doing it small sections the secret is you have to go more than five times so three four five six seven so a minimum of five times i tend to do seven because i just think it seals it in a little bit more um Okay, so take your next section again, small section. Not too big at all. And pin the hair out the way. Right, so you're going to be going in with your comb, okay? So you comb, hold the hair, get the straighteners in between the comb, and literally, and then once it goes to the end, pull the comb back into the hair. Three, four, five six seven these aren't the most comfortable of straighteners um you can definitely tell that they are cheaper i normally use quite expensive ones um okay so again small sections Right guys, so you get the gist. Basically, it is a small section and you literally use your comb to hold the hair, pull the straighteners through and do it a minimum of five times. I always do seven to eight times um, just to be on the safe side. I'm now going to straighten my hair and then I will show you the results at the end. Okay guys, and there you are, you're done. Um, a lot of you might think that this is um, a really, you know, quite a time consuming thing to do. However, when you've got children, this will be able to, you'll be able to basically rough dry your hair and be able to go out of the door. And if you need straighteners on it, you, it will be like the top section. It will be barely anything. I normally, or I used to, spend around about 45 minutes to an hour rough drying my hair and then straightening it because it's so curly and it's such hard, um, frizzy style hair. Um, since I've been doing this, my basically I no longer use straighteners apart from when I do my keratin treatments. I just use my Revlon hair dryer and it is dry within 15 minutes. Um, I wish that you could literally put your hands through the camera and feel my hair 
it feels incredible and um, it's honestly it's such a lovely treatment and I really would recommend it and like I say if you're having this done in a hair salon you're going to be paying around about £150 minimum and um, so in some places are charging around 250 quid. so I just can't see as to why you wouldn't just give it a go yourself. I'm going to link everything um, in the description bar in regards to what I've used today so my straighteners, my Revlon hair dryer, the keratin treatment and also the camera that I use as well because that is brilliant and um, but yeah so anyway if you liked this video then please do give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this and also hit the bell button as well we upload on a Monday and a Friday and there's lots of mummy style vlogs hair type vlogs and beauty style vlogs as well as a few fashion hauls mixed in as well but yeah thank you so much for watching guys see you later